Here we go. Whoa! Welkom en leuk dat je kijkt naar een nieuwe aflevering van Meet the Pro. Vandaag sta ik hier met een kampioen. Want hij is een PSV-speler, Nike-atleet en een Amerikaans international. Ik heb het natuurlijk over Ricardo Peppi. We gaan hem vandaag beter leren kennen met wat interviews, challenges met hem uitvoeren. En dat doe ik natuurlijk niet alleen, want ik heb lokale jeugd uitgenodigd, zodat hij hun skills kan gaan reten. Dus laten we snel beginnen. My man. Brother, how are you? Good, 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 thank you. Yes? How are you? Should I call you champ? You the can. The champ? Yeah. You can. <laughs> how does it feel? To be a champion of the Netherlands. Something special, man, to be honest. Great. Yeah. I feel amazing. Yes. All right. Today we're going to ask you some tough questions. Okay. So I hope you're ready for it. Should be prepared. Nervous? No, no, no. It's okay. No? No, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, in the Netherlands, we talk uh, a lot about uh, the Americans and the, uh, the, the American dream. Mm -hmm. But I think you're living it. Are you? I can say so, yeah. I think I'm, I'm a strong believer that I am. Yes. Can you, can you tell me a little bit more about your dream? Yeah, to be honest, uh, you know, as a kid in America, it's, uh, it's difficult because, you know, you grow up and always want, you know, you grow up watching teams like Real Madrid, you know, you grow up watching European soccer. And so, you know, when you play football, you're growing up in the U.S., you know, you always want to make it abroad. Yeah. And so, yeah, you know, it's not just me, but every single kid that, that grows up in the U.S. has the same dream. Yes, but I think, uh, it's a little bit difficult to 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 make it in the in the US because uh, uh, yeah football is isn't the biggest sport over there right yeah of course it's uh it's definitely getting up there i think slowly but yeah for sure it's uh you know it's like the third fourth sport that you know people are starting to get interested a little bit into but yeah it's it's really difficult what are your thoughts about the nike rising gem pack yeah to be honest you know when when i first got you know, when it first told me about, you know, the pack, you know, I was really excited, of course, because, you know, the, the name of the pack just says it, it says it all, you know, it's a rising gym. So, you know, I, I've been working for, for moments like these and, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, there's still a lot of things that I need to work on, a lot of things, I need a, a lot of places that I need to go to, so. What kind of things do you need to work on? Just, you know, there's, I'm a young player. And so, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of achievements that I want to get done. And so, you know, I know I haven't made it to the top yet, but, you know, just, Hearing that. What is the top for you? Top for me is playing at Real Madrid one day. Real Madrid? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Why Real? Best team in the world. Best team in the world, man. It's simple. Yeah. How, how would you describe your own journey so far? Yeah, so far I feel like my journey is it's been a, a roller coaster, of course, but it's been a, a lot of learning. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've, I've been around Germany. I came here to, to the Netherlands and you know, now I'm at, you know, the best team in the Netherlands. So. It's, uh, it's been a roller coaster, of course, but you know, I wouldn't change it for anything, to be honest. What's the difference between the, the, the countries you've played in and the, the football culture, yeah? the US, uh, Germany, the Netherlands? What's the yeah. difference? Of course, living in the US, you know, uh, yeah, people, you know, they watch the sport, you know, for fun and, you know, it's, it's great and all, but, you know, once you get to Europe, it's, it's a different, it's a different world, man, to be honest. People live it, you know, they breathe it, they eat it, so. You know, it's very different, you know, from moving from the US to Germany and then now in the Netherlands. How did it develop you as a, as a player? Yeah, I feel like it's it's helped me a lot. You know, I feel like in the last two, two three years, you know, I've grown a lot as a player. I've become a better player. And, you know, like I said, there's still a lot of work to be done. What are the specific things to improve? Because if the, the young players are, are watching over here, I'm very curious, how do you, uh, what are the things and how do you work on them? <laughs> Yeah, so I think it's a lot of uh, individual work, to be honest. For me personally, I feel like, you know, um, I think I'm, I'm pretty good as a striker, but of course, you know, you can always be better. You know, every day you go to training with the mentality that, yeah, you know, I, there's a lot of things that I need to work on, a lot of things, you know, to be the best in the world, you always have to keep working every single day. And so, yeah, I mean, that's my biggest lesson that I've learned through, throughout my career, you know, just keep working, keep working, never get satisfied. And, you know, eventually everything will pay off. How did Nike support your, your journey? Yeah, you know, I started, you know, growing up, I was always a, I was always a young player who, you know, I was always watching Cristiano Ronaldo and he was my role model growing up. And Why Cristiano? 
Yeah, I mean, like I say, you know, just growing up, I was always a uh, Real Madrid fan, and so you know, I liked the, I like his, you know, his playing style. I liked the way he looked on the on the field, and so it was always like, yeah, you know, that's my player. You know, I really like how he how he plays. The the, the, the look on the field, um, Nike does an amazing job with it, of course. Is it important to 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 have that, that kind of presence? Yeah, I think for me, it's uh, super important, man. Super important because. I've always said, if you if you feel good and you look good, you will play good. It's all about the feeling. All about the feeling. That's not. That's why you you wear the Nikes. That's exactly why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly why I'm here. Okay. Hey, are you ready for some challenges? Let's do it. Yes. Ready. Okay. Let's go. All right. Yes, Ricardo. We're standing here with Gabriel, Hafsa, Sami, and Enes. They are all uh, part of the football club VV New Wunsel in the Netherlands mm -hmm. and they are part of the Nike and Canva Bay teamwear program uh, together with Football Shop. Does, do these guys remind you of you and your young age? For sure, man. They remind me of me. You know, I, I remember just being young and, you know, You're always... still young. Uh, but younger. <laughs> <laughs> younger, you know, being their age and, you know, just wanting to make it. So, of course, you know, it's a, it's a flashback. What's your dream? I want to become a pro soccer player. Pro soccer player, yeah. And you? I want to become a pro soccer player too. Ah, okay. great. To become a pro player, of course. At which club? Real Madrid. Real Madrid? Okay. Oh, okay. the same. I want to become a pro uh, footballer at uh, PSV. PSV, oh. <laughs> yes. Also you, also you. You want to be a champ? Also you guys. Yeah. Okay. okay. Of course I want to be a champ. Okay, okay. Do you think you can beat them? We're gonna see, no? Let's go. Let's find out. It's time for the shot challenge. All of you are playing as an individual, but they are also a team against you. Okay. Everybody has to shoot twice, and let's see how many points you can get. If you hit the target, you get three points. Three points for target. Are you going to beat them? I like them, but I don't like them so much. <laughs> so I have to, man. I have to. Okay, let's see, let's, let's see. see. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh! The amazing shot, guys! Oh, man! We're going to other corner. Other corner. Ah, ah! Three points! Ah! Only three points! But the first competitor. Mm, let's see. Ooh, almost, amigo. The pressure is, the pressure is coming, huh? Oh, he feels yeah. it. Too much, too much. Okay, Hassa, I believe in you. Watch out with your laces. Come on. Ooh, oh. almost, almost. Ay, 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 ay. Three against zero. Ay. Ay. The pressure is real, man. Pressure is real. Wow. wow. Are you the Gabriel. one? For the yeah? team? For the team. Come on, for the team, bro. Ooh. Last shot, eh? One against zero. What happened, guys? Pressure. Pressure? Little bit luck? A little bit of luck for me. You got lucky, you got ah, lucky. They say so. Should we take it to the next challenge? Next challenge, the summer challenge. Let's go. Okay, round two. Are you ready? I'm prepared. You won the last one. Do you have some tips for the kids? Uh, my best tip I could probably give you guys now is uh, believe in yourself. <laughs> uh, believe in yourself. So you okay, that are some great tips. <laughs> Um, the rules of the game are very simple. The first one, if you hit it, the ball goes in. You get one point, the second two points, and the third three points. You guys ready? I'm ready. Ay, I wasn't ready, man. Not in your head, man. Come on, focus. <laughs> ah. That's terrible. That's come on, guys, come That's on. Terrible, Gabriel, man. show them. That's terrible. Gabriel, like this, man. Yes. Yes. Hey, ole! Come on, Gabriel. Offside. Yes. Yo. 
Ooh, almost, almost. <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay, NS, come on, man. Ooh, Ooh. almost, almost. Was a very good shot. Ah, too hard, too hard. Last but not least. A little hard. Too hard, man. Oh, almost. Gabriel, only, only Gabriel hit the target. One. One. Great job, Gabriel. You took the team on your shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> ready for the last round? Yeah. Yeah? I'm we're, ready. We're gonna I'm ready. Win. Okay. Let's go. Okay, guys. Equal points. The control challenge. We have to juggle the ball, the tennis ball, into the hexagon. So let me ask you, if you got one shot, one opportunity. To seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it or would you let it slip? Lose yourself, man. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, one, let's go. Sad, so sad. Next one, NS. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> it got out, yes, yes. It, that's control, bro. That's control. <laughs> okay, next one, Gabriel. Ah. Uh. Yeah! <laughs> hey, this is rigged, man. <laughs> This is rigged. Three times oh, it gets yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great. Okay, last one. Three, two, one. No, he's not going to make. Yeah! I'm such a loser, man. You let them win? I let them win. <laughs> Come on, bro. You didn't see they got out five times. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, did you uh, did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? What was the most uh, enjoying part of the video? Tennis ball challenge. The tennis ball challenge, I believe so. <laughs> okay, we have a uh, winactie. And uh, ze kunnen deze schoenen winnen. Gesigneerd door jou. Wat moeten ze doen? Je moet de video liken. Je moet de video liken. Je moet reageren. Je moet reageren. En abonneren. En abonneren. And what do they need to comment? A gem. A rising gem. Sign the book, bro. Thank you, guys. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you, guys.